In terms of the, as an industry overview, it's important to understand that there are geopolitical influences that, that drive where companies want to go exploring. And the Fraser Institute is, a, is an institute that produces a survey every year of the industry about what is the combination of, of pure exploration prospectivity versus governmental incentives and stability issues related to countries that makes countries interesting for, for uh, companies to operate in exploring. And so the Fraser Institute produces a survey every year. Um, the most recent one is in 2014 that we have information for. And in this instance, they received results from nearly 500 different companies operating around the world who were responsible for exploration of something like 3 billion US dollars in exploration. So it's a very significant survey and has support from the, the, the mining and exploration industry. At the end of this process, the Fraser Institute puts up what they call their Exploration Investment Attractiveness Index. And these are the top 50 countries around the world or, or jurisdictions, some of them are states, that are deemed to be the most attractive from the recipients of the survey. And I'll just point out there that if you have a look at those top 50, how many are in Southeast Asia? It's not a lot. We have Myanmar sitting at number 46, if you want to include Myanmar in Southeast Asia, which I do. So Southeast Asia doesn't feature very high in um, companies' views about how attractive it is to operate in the country. Southeast Asia is very prospective for zinc, but there are some reasons why companies are a little reluctant to, to operate in some of the countries in Southeast Asia. The Fraser Institute does not produce a uh, attractive attractiveness index for Southeast Asia. The closest they do is they produce Australia and Oceania. And so if you have a look at that particular plot, you can see here that we do have con local countries coming in. Malaysia, unfortunately, is pretty well the bottom of the list, even though Malaysia is quite prospective. Um, we have Philippines, we have Indonesia, we have Papua New Guinea, we have Fiji. So they're not ranked particularly highly. You can see the scale here. Western Australia is up over 80, and uh, Malaysia is less than 20. Now, that doesn't necessarily refer to the pure exploration prospectivity. It's, it's a function of other factors that make Malaysia not quite so interesting for companies to operate in. So companies do make decisions on where they spend their exploration dollars based on some of the other factors that, that play a part. And some of those might be political issues, they might be uh, legal issues, they might be social community related issues. 